Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Heroes of the Storm here of, on Guardian of Terror. To the left in the blue we have Next and we have the players F. Fonta Top as Anubarak, Gale as Vala and Curson as Brightwing, nice little monkey skin there. And we have Level T as ETZ and we have Oh my god, let's see, uh, me the gates shall open. uh, yeah, don't have the name there, okay. Twan, Ra, Dwarf, something, something, as <laughs> And to the right, in red, we have Imaginary Gaming Heroes, we have Tuxan as Malfurion, we have, uh, Yena is, uh, Q, uh, Danaton as Malfu uh, Murudin, I mean, Suki as Tassadar, and we have Ak. Arakain as Silvanas. Some hard, hard <laughs> names right there, people. And it's a pretty standard map. It's this is a one uh, uh, one domination map, or I don't. I'm not 100% what you call it. One uh, win match, and the winner goes to to the finals, basically. Up oh, against. Uh, let's see if I can remember what team it is. Uh, I think it's against Pasek team in the finals. And it's a pretty standard off beginning. We have a three laner here, both lane against Malfurion though, which would be a hard keep for him. However, though, we have a pu three people push against ETC on the middle. Uh, we do see some roaming here though. ETC is spotting it and they are trying to get it all a pick of here. Uh, they are going pretty hard on Malfurion and uh, that could, yeah, he has definitely the damage there. And the slow here from Jaina is making it very hard for the blue team to escape as we see. Uh, I think it's most at least, the oh nice pick off there by Yuki. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, that's uh, definitely the slow that did uh, some well, well, good damage. <laughs> well, he will play AFK. Someone was AFK, uh, apparently, maybe, I don't know. Or did I mean the other team, maybe? Could be something I missed there for sure. Uh, the flowers are up, and the red team are the only one that have gotten them flowers now. The blue team are getting theirs in the top lane there. And so, yeah, the red teams are ahead here. Sylvanas is getting a bit of a pickle here. Uh, too bad they didn't have a stun there. However, though, Illidan will be able to help ETC to pick that off very nicely. We have a bit of engagement here from the Nubrak and the blue team. This should be kind of a hard situation here now for to, to get out of, but Vala thinks she misses uh, her first arrow there. Hits the other, but he is too tanky at that point because of the shield. Anubrak is actually, they are overextending here. Yep, Anubrak goes down as well as Illidan. They are have a, uh, it's, uh, yeah, they need, they need ETC to get in before. Yeah, see, Vala is definitely dead there. Uh, Brightwing can't do much in this situation because he, oh, this is a full team pickoff here from the red team. Very nicely done. Uh, the blue team have spawned in though, and this is l looking to be a kind of an uphill here because I mean this is the early, early levels here. Level four for the blue team, level six for the red team, and they are actually already ahead. And in these early stages, they are usually not that big of a difference in the level levels. So yeah, we're getting first flower here for red team and they are very much ahead when it comes to the flower count against blue. And we once again see a nice pick up here, very nicely utilized three man room here from blue team. Which they kind of needed, but yeah, Malfurion was, he doesn't have any great escapes, he basically needs to root someone and then just run, kill himself. Uh, yeah, blue is picking up the bottom flower though, so they uh, they will not get uh, a full flower. You can actually see if you if there are um, enough flowers out on the map to gather if this one is uh, oh open like this uh, like it are now. Earlier when I started talking, it was actually closed, so they will have to wait until the next flower phase, and at that phase they have the opportunity to get their first flower. Looks like yet yeah, uh, Yuki is the one who's going to pick this flower. Uh, wonder if he, he's probably going to push mid lane and then his teammates are going to try to just get wrecked and get an even bigger level, uh, uh, getting farther and having level. 
We, yeah, he's going mid on. He's getting some backup here now. Uh, Murdin is killing off the creep to help the creeps, uh, his creep wave, or their creep wave, to come up and push with him. And then we have Jaina. Master is keen there on Jaina for those who haven't noticed. Uh, yeah, he is just not doing some knocking here. Uh, so far, I would say that the team composition here from the blue team, they're kind of not. It's not a bad link, but red team have uh, a good amount of nuke range, which makes it hard for Illidan, especially if he's behind. If he's a bit ahead or even level, picking up Yena or maybe Simana shouldn't be that much of a problem, really, depending on situations, of course. But when you're behind, it can be a bit harder. Oh, right here. Going right into it here. Yeah, lot of, lots of damage there. Red stun from Muradin. Picking up right wing. The kills are very uneven for now. We do see. Yeah, here comes the blue. Uh, uh, Ildan have been up in top lane for a long time. Because they are pretty reliant on the XP that he is actually gathering right now. I, I think that's the, the, their strategy at least. Uh, that they are like, you need to stay in lane because we need XP. Uh, but I mean, they, they could use him as well. But it's, it's a hard choice here because they are so far behind that they should probably just try to stay in lane like this and gather XP and just don't, don't try to don't die and then when the enemy team like now is getting a camp like this maybe switch one more person over to that lane to kill off the uh, camp um, easily and effectively and then just go back to trying to stick in lane until they can get uh, gather up some XP to get not ahead, but uh, that would be kind of hard. But at least even it out a little bit. I mean, they need. They're level ten, 11 here now on the red team. Imaginary gaming heroes. Uh, and uh, they, they are not 10 here on the blue team yet, which is the big uh, disadvantage. They don't even have ultis. When they are at 10, then I really hope that they are starting to roam together as a team doing the train. So, yeah. So. It, things could happen at that stage. Uh, he here we go. There's the level 10. What ultis will they pick? They really need to pick. Uh, well, good now, so they can really counter the red team here. However, though, they are pushing hard on top lane, while they are pushing. The red team is pushing hard on mid lane here with the cap uh, helping. And now it's flower face, and you can see it. Yeah, both team actually have uh, some assistance of uh, the camps here. It's the Siege camps. Oh, it looks like they are going to try to do a run by here, but two people are very. Oh, there comes the ultimate. We need to see, and right wing is here as well, but they are get taking a lot of damage. It's a very late ulti there from Illidan, and the heals are so immensely good here from Malfurion. He's hitting everyone, even if it's a bit clunked up. Two people goes down for red team, three people goes down for blue team, and uh, they should pick up Illidan pretty quick here. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Yep, that was... Uh, it was a bit of an even fight. Here's the thing. The blue team, next, don't have AoE healing. They actually did a good amount of damage. It was, uh, over. It was okay utilized. It was nothing wrong with the, the synergy and the way they did the ultis. They popped in good. Like, the C ulti hit everyone, basically. And then... Illidan come in a bit uh, later, and uh, Anubarak's ult was probably off as well. Uh, the Reign of Vengeance, I didn't see it, but I think it happened. Or maybe not, it can't, it's no cooldown on it, to be honest, but it could have already been the reset, actually. Uh, so yeah, I didn't see that one, where it hit or anything, but... Oh, we're getting a teamfight here now. Are they going... Yep, they are picking up the Look at that nuke! You see a nice loose smacking down. Poor, poor Vala so easily if she wants to and gets uh, help from Yuki there uh, to, uh, because that's that's just so great. If he ultis, she can walk in safely behind him because this is going to be uh, around a one second stun and that's the amount of time she needs to so use pop nuke her down, especially with this level advantage. And how have she specced here now? Yeah, okay, she have specced uh, getting power. I don't even know if she has it actually, but yeah, she she has some great damage potential. As we said before, she is one of the top nukers. Uh, as I said before, though, on the earlier fight, 
uh, it was great utilized, but thanks to Malfurion's ulti and uh, the AoE healing he has, that kept Yena and Sylvanas alive, basically, because they were down on low HP, and uh, one of them was picked off, actually. But I mean, it would have gone so much faster to pick them off if he haven't uh, hadn't had his ulti. So yeah, I think that's uh, that could be a big drawback here for the blue team next because they don't have that area healing. Oh, it's easy ulti. I mean, that's very ambitious uh, for <laughs> with that many against you. Uh, you see, yeah. Speed. Oh, there goes the vengeance down. New sound effect there, if I'm not mistaken, actually, since last time I heard it, at least. Or, uh, you, I might have heard it, but didn't notice. Uh, yeah, it looks like we might actually get the finish over here now. I can't imagine this would go another way. Uh, this was the blue team here is next, and the red team in Marionette uh, Gaming Heroes are the red team. They are French, actually, the majority of the team. They have one German, actually, in the team, but I don't think he's playing it right now. I don't see Mick Yuki. Oh, that might be too. Is that Yuki? Yeah, that, that's the German right there. That's the tutorial. Well, that's game. It was a good game. It was quite. Uh, it didn't. It wasn't as even in the later uh, part of the game. It was quite a quick game as well. Uh, the early game was quite okay, but it, it was some. Uh, let's call it difficulties. And yeah, thank everyone for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.